hi guys welcome to my youtube channel today i'm going to talk about the constructor uh, within the oop and uh, yeah uh, what is php oop constructor a constructor allows you to initialize a object properties upon creating of the object that means when we creating the object this constructor is called that mean uh, inside of this constructor we can set its properties or even if we need to um, uh, inject another uh, object to uh, this uh, that particular class or particular object then we can use this constructor uh, if you create constructor function php will automatically call the function when you creating an object from the class if you create a constructor function php will automatically call this function when you creating object from the class that means uh, if we have a, a constructor within the class when we create uh, when we go when we creating the uh, object using uh, that particular class it will automatically trigger this constructor that means as uh, it first it will trigger this constructor then after that uh, it will do the other things that mean it will initialize this constructor that the construct uh, that's the construct function start with the two uh, yeah that mean uh, construct uh, function start from the uh, two underscore okay uh, i will explain these things uh, using a, a php code example uh, first uh, go to the code <clears throat> here i'm create a php class uh, class call uh, uh, my service something like okay uh, here i will add the constructor uh, we can add constructor using public function like this and un double uh, two underscore and uh, with the construct now we have construct function within this construct function we can set some member uh, properties actually here we can say that if the this service has a, a let's say a private uh, uh, dollar service name or something so property one property uh, that mean the the service name is a property of this uh, my service class and also we can say private uh, another property private uh, uh, let's say uh, service uh, with uh, provider or something here we have two uh, met, uh, properties we can set these properties within this uh, constructor like this that means using this command we can set this uh, dollar service uh, dollar service name equal to dollar service name uh, yeah we can pass this service to this from here and dollar service provider and also we can give that provider as well dollar this uh, sorry here we don't need dollar uh, service provider equal to dollar service pro uh, provider yeah as you can see now uh, we uh, we create the constructor function within this constructor we initialize our uh, met, uh, properties within this class we have a private two, two private properties we initialize those uh, properties value within this constructor and uh, now when we create we can create object like this uh, dollar uh, my service object equal to using new new keyword uh, my service likewise here when we creating this object it will request the uh, these parameters because the our constructor have these parameters then uh, to uh, create object using this uh, my service class it's need to have these uh, parameter values as example i will add these values uh, service name i as a service name i will uh, add uh, web service and uh, here as a service provider i will add uh, uh, mm, internet service provider the service provider uh, like yeah here now we have uh, we have created our uh, new object using uh, this class with the constructor uh, now i can echo this echo my service object uh, okay okay here uh, now we initialize the uh, using the constructor we 
we add the parameter uh, add the method property values but uh, to get these property values we need another um, public uh, function method uh, get info okay here we can say we can return uh, as a service uh, name uh, equal to uh, dollar this uh, service service name okay and uh, uh, service provider equal to you can say um, dollar this service provider okay now in here we can call uh, we can uh, get info we can uh, get uh, uh, we can get information using get info uh, yeah now we can check this with the uh, browser uh, let's go to the browser um, okay here you can see we have uh, we have we can uh, get information using uh, that means here uh, what happened is that we create constructor within that constructor we uh, set our member uh, properties uh, values uh, we can uh, view those values within this function uh, in here the main role is the constructor is that we can set the uh, class property values using the constructor even we can uh, send uh, object to uh, the if we need to uh, inject some object to this class we can use this constructor using constructor we can set we can send uh, we can uh, set objects like this i will uh, add object to here uh, let's say we have another class called uh, we can add some other another class i will add a class uh, called uh, uh, service provider uh, within this service service provider uh, let's say we have uh, we have a function called uh, public uh, function uh, 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 create okay create we have create function and here we return uh, there's a, a public public uh, property called uh, uh, the default uh, service okay i will add some value to here um, let's say um, uh, slt service okay uh, now here as you can see we have a default uh, we have a pro property with default value i will return this default value within this uh, uh, function return uh, dollar this okay uh, yeah now uh, now uh, what we can do is within the now uh, here with this constructor i will uh, that mean inject this object that means this class object i will inject to this uh, constructor um, actually the, uh, this uh, thing we can say as a dependency injection that mean to work to complete the process of this uh, my service class we need uh, this service provider object uh, to come uh, to this uh, my service class that means to complete the i will i will explain you uh, with the code i think it's better okay here now i can add um, we can add uh, our object to uh, this uh, this class dollar uh, service provider okay now uh, i will uh, create uh, here this as well i will uh, we can this as well okay now uh, this my service provider is a object uh, object means um, yeah we have method we have method we can access this method using this object then uh, we can't uh, echo like this then we need to have we need to uh, we need to call that uh, create function here and also uh, yeah in here we need to create uh, uh, here we need to create uh, that service provider object uh, dollar uh, 
service provider provider object equal to new service provider okay now we have service provider object we going to now we object this uh, we inject this ob object to uh, that my service uh, class uh, here now uh, uh, what we done is uh, i just uh, demo you this is actually sometimes uh, some people may this uh, like, uh, like like advanced topic that been uh, dependency injection but it is not uh, much uh, advanced i think it's a really simple uh, thing actually because we can uh, like like that previously we done uh, we uh, assign that mean we initialize the properties property values using this constructor at the same way we uh, inject uh, uh, object to uh, this property that mean previously we said this uh, service provider as a uh, some string value now uh, what we are doing is we uh, assign it this as a object now uh, with this uh, if we call this uh, this uh, service provider it return the object within that object we have create function create uh, method within this create uh, now in here we uh, access this create method and that create create method return its uh, provider name previously we uh, directly give the uh, string now we are giving it uh, as an object uh, yeah okay now uh, let's go to the browser same thing we can see that it will uh, return the value of the object that uh, object uh, value here that it will return this uh, object function uh, method value actually uh, this kind of things we can do with the constructor uh, constructor normally when we creating the object it will automatically uh, trigger constructor we can create a class without cons constructors as well here we not create any constructor then it will uh, not expecting to do with the anything with the constructor it just normally a process when we have a constructor if we have some uh, we create uh, some val uh, vari values uh, parameters uh, in here then when we creating the object we have to give those parameters like this that is the simple basic idea behind of constructor uh, we can pass uh, string uh, arrays uh, objects any any types of uh, uh, data types to the constructor and we can do uh, using uh, using constructor we can do a lot of things uh, mainly uh, main thing is that it, uh, what it do is it uh, assign the methods member uh, properties value the it, we use it to uh, set the property values this is the uh, basic introduction about constructor uh, yeah let's uh, i think uh, you guys enjoy this video and i hope you guys it's helpful and uh, yeah thank you very much for watching my videos